Now that I have a 64-bit operating system, Windows 7 64-bit, I can now finally make use of more than 4 gigs of RAM instead of the 3.36 gigs that Windows XP was reporting when I had my still current 4 gigs of RAM. This is an 8 gig memory module, which will now up that from 4 gigs to 12, and it's all thanks to another one of my fans. Thank you very much. Now, let's watch this get installed. And now the process begins. Here it goes. Step one. You're probably familiar with this, right? Screws. I need to get rid of them. These are the easy kind. Hmm, that one's on there tight. Don't want to lose them either. And flip the power supply off. And get rid of the cover. And as you're probably noticing here, this looks different. These weren't here before, considering my previous video. Well, and they're also not all the way down either, if you look closely enough. The reason for that is simple. I don't seem to have any mounting screws at the moment. But those are the closest things that I could find, and they're in there pretty good. Because, yeah, they, it takes a lot of force to get them to even do anything. So I think it's probably about as secure enough, at least. But one problem I have is the sound card here is rather close to the video card. That's because that's where the PCI X1 slot is. But I've found out that I can actually use the PCI X4. There's the 4 right there. So, searching, target found. Non-magnetic screwdriver. Kind of a basic tool, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a Type 2 Phillips as you can tell by the little plus sign on it. So, I'm going to... Yeah. Ooh, boy, that's in there good. I need to make sure I have a good grip on it. Spare the screw off the side. And, let's see here, I need easier access to it, or easier reach. And if I'm going to move it, Yank the microphone, and yank the speakers. Because, well, if I'm going to be moving the sound card to an effort slot, can't have those plugged in. And another thing is this right here. I need to somehow figure out how you get rid of that. Yeah, there's a little thing right there. Well, that was quick. And I need to get to scene uh, X4. If you look closely right in here, there's the X4 in blue as opposed to the whites over here. These white ones are PCI, not E. The E for express, in case you're wondering. So I need to remove this and move it over to here, being careful not to poke the motherboard or anything like that. It looks like there's a piece of metal there. This will move the sound card further from the video card so the video card can breathe because I've noticed a higher temperatures through usage. Although I can't really confirm it because I really don't have too much in the way of a control. All I need to do is just start the screw. Yep. And from there I just need to tighten it. Hmm, it looks kind of crooked. Okay, that ain't going to go anywhere too easily. Now, put the screwdriver back. Searching. Microphone. Yeah, that's why. Hmm, I wonder how you get rid of this. That's why that was looking odd. Guess I'm going to have to remove that again. What's the problem? Well, I need, first need to remove this screw before I can do anything. Temporarily discard that. I need to remove the sound card. It's only temporary. 
And let's see, I'm going to aim for that PCIe X1 over here. Okay, now you see this piece of metal right there? That is the problem. I didn't notice that was there. So I wonder how I get rid of this. Looks like I push from that side, pull up, careful not to drop it, and there I go. Because now it's open over here. See my finger? Ain't that exciting. Next, put the sound card back in that same slot. In the same way as I did before. Watching where all the holes are. For some reason. There we go. It doesn't seem like it's all the way in. But I had that problem with my other sound card. But it's in there as probably as good as it's going to get. So as long as I get sound, I'm fine. Otherwise, I'll just probably get post errors or something from hardware not being mounted in. Well, I don't think that's actually detected in post. Post means power on self test. That's that quick beep you get. Uh oh. Uh, let's see, the screw fell back into there. Get my screwdriver out of the way, and I need to carefully get it out. Hmm. Looks like I can reach in from here to grab it. A little skilled maneuver to grab a screw that fell in. So, let's try this again. So all I gotta do is just get this thing started. Okay, it started. Okay, this is interesting. Maybe it's just hitting a hard spot somewhere. But I think that's screwed in enough. I wonder if I can do that on this one. Yeah, nope, it's really firm. So, I think that's anchored in there good enough. Now for the main intent that I wanted to do. The RAM. I wonder why this isn't in a static shielded bag. One thing I just don't quite get, and this looks like one of those frustratingly difficult containers to open. Yeah, if you look closely here, it's kind of hard for you to see it, but I can actually see that it looks rough along the edges. But, there is a fix for that. That fix is these things. You know what these are, right? Scissors, you know, really basic. Gotta love them. They're very useful. But, let's see, where do I want to start the cut so I don't damage anything? It's usually along the edges. These are the absolute worst kinds of packages. They're the hardest to open. And you can cut yourself on the cut results. I think these kinds of packages should be against the law simply because they're so frustratingly difficult and they injure you. Mostly the injure part of it. Uh, good. Ooh, it's sliding. Okay, I see what I need to do. Cut 
cut out a little bit more like that. My hands are strong enough, I can tear that out. But now that I got that, and I can actually grab the ram, this can go in the recycle. Ram is very easy to install. All you gotta do is note the notch right there, find the similar notch over here, so it's oriented like this. This black thing around it's a kind of a heat shield, kind of dissipates heat a little better. And that's one thing I've noticed. This one, I need to make sure these are both taken out so they can be anchored in. Then I just line her up, notch to notch. Of course, this one's off alignment, or out of alignment. Make sure it's in there. Okay, it's in there, so I just press down firmly until, click, click, it's in there. Really not much to it. So, when I go check the BIOS, for which is going to be the first thing I do, I check to see, well, that it's being detected. If there's a conflict, well, that's a different subject. But first, and that's one thing I forgot about, reconnecting my sound card again. Number one is the microphone. That's just an extra secure anchor. Uh, let's see, where is that? There it is. Black kind of blends in with black pretty well. A little black cord cable. It's not number three like I thought. It's number four. Because the box had a little bit of confusing labeling there. But that aside, that's all in there. It's anchored and all that, so that's good to go. Okay. Grab the cover. Oops, wrong side. Fit this on here. And pretty much just go from there. Flip this back on, and on goes my computer. Except I need to check the BIOS real quick. And now to check the BIOS. For that, delete key. About twice a second is sufficient enough. Doesn't have to be exact, and sorry about the flicker when it shows up. Nothing I can do about that. Okay, well, it's registering the memory, as it says right there, 12288. I'm expecting that. Okay, let's see. Inconsistency here, 9 and 8. I wonder what channel A and channel B is. I wonder what the difference is. Channel B, I think that was the new one. So I remember it being A before. Yeah, I could just check my previous video, I can isolate it then. But Everything here is about what I'm expecting to see. Okay. Memory frequency is 1333. Wasn't that 1600 before? Pretty confident it was. And what's under here? Okay, looks about right. Dark five like it's supposed to be. Okay, let's see what else. There's something else at the bottom. And by the way, BIOS settings like this gave me the inspiration behind Platform Master's menu navigation. 
And although PM's menu navigation is likely to end up changing slightly. But yeah, it looks about right. So, since I didn't make any changes, exit, and off I go to loading windows. This computer upgrade video was created by Ululilia. Thank you for watching. And thank you for the fans who have gotten me these two pieces of hardware. I appreciate it.